Hey everyone. Everyone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey everyone. Welcome to VLM Vibes, Love, and Money with Mesh and Debs. I'm Debs. I'm Debs. Sorry. I'm Debs. <laughs> I got you there. Oh, you never yeah. All right. Go on. And today, and today, we are going to be presenting you eight tips which we believe has helped us and is helping us to survive this long distance relationship you forgot to mention eight amazing tips oh actually. my goodness eight yeah. amazing tips which has been helping us to survive this long distance relationship yeah and we believe it would also help other um, long distance relationship out there so before we get into the video guys make sure to like share and most importantly turn on post notification and remember as well to make use of the comment sections to interact with us so that we can know what you guys think about our videos and if you also have other tips that works better for you all right let's get it first tip is make use of technology the first thing that brought me and Bae together in the first place was technology if we didn't have that, we would not be here today. So having technology in an LDR relationship is really vital to staying connected with your partner. And um, just a little story. There was this time recently where there was this fallout of um, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp. And WhatsApp is actually what we used to communicate. And actually, they reached out to me over email, which is something else to use. And, you know, told me that he was not able to reach out to me because his WhatsApp was not working. So I looked and I was like, well, my WhatsApp is not working either. And then that's when I saw it was like a worldwide thing. And thankful for us before, like when we first met, we, there was times where, you know, we just wanted to be more involved in each other's life. And we found this app called Between. And that's the app we use to communicate in such a time, which was really helpful and really great. We were able to call on there. You can uh, share pictures, you can share calendars. And so making use of technologies and um, really use it, having different apps such as Between or like the Bible app, we use that to read together, um, stay in the scriptures, um, Google Drive, we use it to work on documents or yeah. anything that we want to work on, um, team up calendars to be able to see each other's schedules of the day, WhatsApp, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, um, Skype, to be able to even create this video for you guys, and uh, music apps or Netflix to watch movies. Having all these things is really important to stay connected. So make sure to um, take advantage of technology and really utilize all the apps that are available because they're really going to help you stay connected and bond with your partner. We also make use of our gadgets, you know, not just the apps, not the inbuilt apps, but the gadgets itself, like our phone, our laptop, our sound system to play music and to it. We watch movies on Netflix through the aid of our laptop. And we also do a um, project and, and, and stops together with this, um, this gadget I just made mention on. And all of that just actually helps to um, bring us together and make us bond better. And with that being said, um, I would like to move on to the next point, which is um, communication. Communication. I mean, you guys, you have to communicate. Communication is very important in life, whatever you do. It's not just in a relationship, long distance relationship, but as long as you're a person and you need to interact with someone else in this life, you have to communicate. Now, right. technology has presented the platform it is best for you guys to choose which form or which manner you guys want to communicate best. Now, um, there's something online where I saw in your like in LDR relationship, uh, communication should be kept to the barest minimum. Like you don't have to communicate every time. You should create time and gap. Um, I want to say for me, that's not actually true. I think every relationship has its own uh, uniqueness and you need to actually understand your partner and know how you guys best communicate for me and Bay, we communicate like literally every day, every every day. Night. so if you're someone who don't feel the need to communicate very often maybe because of your job or other activities it's fine you still have to communicate it to your partner 
if you have time you know i think it is still really good for you guys to keep in touch as much as possible especially if you're in um, uh, an ldr relationship so it's it's not just about communication but also effective communication you have to um pass across your mood your feeling what you think to your partner so they can understand you better like if you're grieving feel free to pass it across so you guys can talk about it if you're in a happy mode feel free of course to pass it across so that your partner can know you and also know how to deal with certain situations when um they they arise one thing me and they do is mind digest we we communicate we play a lot like a lot but when it comes to being serious we're also 100 when it comes to that we do a mind digest section where we take out every love and everything out of the way but we just really focus on reality and try to express our feelings to each other if maybe i did something that hurt her in the past or you know that she doesn't like she oh man she communicates i'm gonna to let me you know quick legit she communicates it to me real quick so that's that um communication day the next point our next point is trust and commitment so first of all there is no relationship you can have really that has no trust um or being committed to it trust is really like the most one of the most important things to have in a relationship and if you don't have that honestly there's like no reason to even step into a relationship because if you don't trust your partner you're always going to be second guessing your partner and also second guessing your relationship and that's not a type of relationship or a healthy relationship you want to be in unless you want to be in a toxic relationship go ahead but if you want to be in a healthy relationship and you don't trust your partner there's no need to even step into it so if you have any doubt already from beginning on you don't need to step into it and something that we also um realized is that long distance relationship I'm sorry to say like this but long distance relationship is not for the weak like you have to have a different type of strength to be able to commit to your partner it's 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 really deeper than just saying i love you and oh you're the best oh we look cute together you really have to have a mature mindset to um go into this long distance relationship so if you know you can go the extra mile for your partner if you know the relationship you can't sacrifice for it compromise for it then you should re- you should reconsider going into that relationship and that's just the raw truth about it all I would also like to say um a healthy relationship also equals um, a healthy amount of trust you know you have to trust your partner in um, your relationship now if it's a long distance relationship you know it's going to take a lot of work cuz you haven't really put this person to to test you know sort of i mean not those crazy tests you see on social media and all of that trying to test your boyfriend with your female friend or something you know but you know like the, the genuine um, test to get to know someone's trust level you know on you as well not just you trying to trust the person but really get getting the person to trust you as well i think um, it is very important to build every relationship on um a good and substantial amount of um, trust involved in it with that being said um <clears throat> I would like to go on to tell you guys the fourth point, right? They I'm correct. 1 2 3 4. I still know how to do <laughs> the fourth point you right, you right. The fourth point which is um since it's um LDR you need to understand the reason for the distance. You know, I mean I'll come again. Understand the reason why you guys are apart and try to make concrete plans to finally Needs. now why do i say this is very important you know you're in a relationship with someone they are far away from you and you don't know the reason why they are far away from you that doesn't make sense you know everybody in a relationship you should try to know the where about of your partner you know um 
long distance relationship actually happens you know in two ways where it is possible you guys have been together for a while but something just happened and it took one of you away and then he puts you apart maybe work maybe school maybe visits maybe the 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 pandemic that is um, play that has played the world now put you guys apart you need to understand like this is the reason we're actually apart and it's genuine it's a genuine reason and the person is not just a ghost that i haven't seen or just disappeared out of my life and with that being said you also need to make plans together you know concrete plan to try and meet it doesn't matter if he fails on the long run or not like me and Bay, we know we've tried numerous times you know know, plans to try and finally be together but it is not working yet but because we know we are planning to finally meet which is like the end goal of every long distance relationship i believe it, it, it makes us happy and comfortable to be in the relationship knowing fully where that this person is putting in the efforts to be able to finally be with me you know so you need to make concrete plan it doesn't it doesn't matter the duration it's gonna take for the plan to materialize it doesn't matter if there are setbacks you know or obstacles along the line but as long as you guys make plan and make it together I believe it is very important to keep the relationship going and making it, you know, stronger. Yeah, that's definitely true. I agree with that because even making plans makes me feel better and make me feel that, yes, he's really in this and he's really all about me. You better be all about me. You know I'm all about you. (laughs) Tell the embassy people to give me my visa. (laughs) Oh my goodness. Oh my Give me my visa. <laughs> Give him his visa. Yeah, exactly. Tip number five. This is actually one of my favorite tips is um, doing activities together. Doing activities. Oh, yeah. hmm? I just said, oh yeah. Oh, doing activities together. It's not only just fun and, oh, let's just, you know, spend time together. But it really, really, really strengthens your bond. And um, just activities such as watching movies together on Netflix, um, listening to music together and dancing, um, playing games, dinner dates, cooking nights, as you you guys saw if you didn't go watch our last video where we cooked together but um also helping each other out with school assignments we do that a lot and all these things that we do together and try to um bond it really helps and there was this i think it was last week it was last week where <laughs> me and they were playing games on whatsapp and actually he made the games up and when we were playing them it was you said what I keep distracting you. I only said as an inventor. I actually invented the game. Oh, okay, okay, Mr. Peter's inventor. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, they came up with these games, and while we were playing, it was just so fun, and you know, we were laughing. I remember when you called, and I was like, you was already laughing without explaining the game, because it's just fun. And and that little, even though it was like a short time, I really. I just felt really, really close to to him, um, and it was really good. And I was like, "Wow, this makes me just feel like I'm like you're beside me. We're just having a good time, you know." And it was really sweet. So definitely make sure that you do activities together. You don't have to be together to be able to bond or feel that connection. Just doing games, making up your own games, coming up with different activities over the phone can help a lot because, again. Long distance or any relationship, it's not about the physical body. It's about the connection you have with that person's heart, with that person's soul. And that's that goes a long way. And I'm just really happy that we do that. So make sure you try out different activities with your partner as well. Oh, yeah. we Like she said, we definitely do a lot of activities together. And not just the fun activities, you know, but also educational activities. I remember... Uh, just some few months back when my um, laptop was bad, she she helped me in um, uh, 
um, working on my presentation, my school presentation, and she did it. We actually did it together using my phone and she on the laptop and we worked on it together and it was cool and it was really cool and, and also okay. yeah I, I passed. Hey, if you want to go there with then an A? Most, with an A? Most, most of your school activities have also been epping out. So you did and I've been passing with A's too like you we got each other's back. <laughs> yes. So we do we do educational activities as well and um not to fail to mention, but since we're both from a Christian family, uh, we also do spiritual readings uh, together. We have our Bible app. We have um, spiritual guides that we consult. And sometimes here and there we'll be lacking and sleeping behind. But we try to pray together and, um, you know, just be in the spirit and, and grow our spirit being together as well so guys a lot of activities out there you can play you don't need to be together you don't need to 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 be in the same close space to engage in different activities games fun social educational and spiritual just dig deep dig deep and i believe you will find something uh that is worth doing together the sixth point yeah five six the sixth point a little bit dramatic but yeah the six points is understanding each other's daily routine you know it's not just understanding the person who they are their perspective and how they operate but you know the daily routine their daily activities you know Bay is a student she's in school i know the days when she's in school i know the days where she go out to party because i have a tracker on her <laughs> that, that's 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 a lie. She's she's never been out to party before. But yeah, I I I. I, I oh yeah, that one that one is not party. That one is bench warming. <laughs> <laughs> Covid party that didn't take place. That's that's what? not a no. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's a story for another time. But I understand Bay's daily routine. That I know the the days and the time she's in class you know and even if there is a change in her daily routine she also communicates it to me uh, likewise I, I do the same so we can know when we're both busy and um, when we have other activities going on and we respect you know those times and then when of course each of us come back and we finally get to to talk after the long time apart um, we try to also talk about what has happened in in, in in the day in general if you feel it's needed to give the other person you know break you know time to nap and rest or anything you would be willing to do so because you understand the person's routine and then you know it's not just all about me 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 in the relationship but the person also needs um rest so it is very important to understand each other's daily routine so you would know how to help out in those um, routine and also understand your partner's free time so that you guys can communicate better in those free time. Actually, I raised my hand and you just disregarded it. I'm just kidding. But just to what you said before, like and that having that understanding um, that your partner been out or whatever and, you know, giving them time to rest, to nap, whatever. I feel like that's something I need to work on because, and I, I just want to say this because I feel like it's important um, to not come off um, as selfish because like say if Bay's working the whole day and we didn't get to talk I just for the fact that it's LDR and we can just see after work like oh let's we're just gonna meet up and we're gonna see it's like I always be missing him like so 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 much and when he come back and he's tired it's like sometimes I it's like I fail to understand and just want to be on the phone till the night time midnight and he's just like I'm tired and I'm like well I want to talk and you can't do that you know you have to really Think about it like, okay, he's been out the whole day. He's tired. You know, he got to sleep. And, and it's like you just have to bite on your tongue and be like, okay. Like, I just have to suck this pill. And, you know, whenever he's rested, then we'll talk. If it's the morning, if it's after two hours nap. And that's something really important to um, also think about or keep in mind to not be selfish and really understand to that level. Yeah, I just have to yeah. say that. 
Yeah, it's, it's a good thing she knows my routine, you know. She knows when I'm tired and I tell her I'm just back from work and I'm really tired. She knows that is what it is and I'm not just going MIA, you know, or teaching her and not wanting to talk to her or I have other shady things to, to do. She she doesn't like to rest, but I always try to make her <laughs> to rest as much as possible because if you leave Bay, trust me, guys, she would want to be on the phone 24 7 with me rolling and all of that but things doesn't work out like that you need to you know shut down rest refresh and we start all over you know with a better energy yeah so that is that um thank you babe. uh now we arrive to the seven tip which is create imaginary lifestyles and talk about it this part it may sound like what but i'm telling y'all this part is like one of the funnest things to do with your partner um actually if you haven't tried it before try it that is the play part in us again you know we we go into that dream mode we imagine things for ourselves and we think it is really cool so well go on go on babe sorry (laughs) No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Because this is, like you said, the space that allows us to just be free in our dreams, no boundaries, no limits. We just let it run wild. And actually, um, a few months back, there was a time where we were, I think it was even my birthday. We weren't even sure if we were going to meet, but this is part of a dream. And we just went on to look for a place we were interested in. um, And we um, thought of Hamburg. And oh, my goodness. We saw Hamburg and we were like, oh my gosh, we have to go there. We were so serious on this planning. We were so sure we were going to see. We went to Hamburg. We started Googling the place. We went on YouTube. We started looking for hotels in the area. We started looking at prices. (laughs) What was that you said? Train tickets and the connection. Train tickets. Like, we actually looked like, okay, if you're here by... 6 a.m. we would leave we'll get there by 12 so we gotta take this train we really wrote everything out like legit like we were really going and not even that we went deeper and we made us like a a program for because we we said like okay three days we're gonna stay the weekend we made a program for each day like okay first from this time we're gonna go around the city do a little tour oh and then we're gonna go eat and then we're gonna go to the bar you know (laughs) <laughs> like we went really deep and it was so it was so sweet even though we didn't know if we we're really going to see but just being in that space it was it was just so amazing and um yeah we didn't get to see but we still were like we're still keeping this plan for when we do see and um but that's the good part about it one part that i feel like i do want to say well at least for me because i'm so i just feel so attached he he is so attached too but i just feel like i'm just I don't know when to stop, like he said before, but <laughs> if you do it too much, you can kind of like go into the wrong direction and it will lead you into some type of sadness, you know, because it's like you just really want it to happen and you really want to do it. And being stuck on it 24 seven can make you go crazy. So my advice here is if you do this, kind of do it in a way that it's not every single day, 24 seven, just, you know, here, there, tap in, tap out. So um, you don't get into that feeling because once you get into it, you start shutting down, you start asking God, why, why, why? And yeah, it would, it would tell on the relationship. So just try to do it like here and there. Yeah, I guess what she's trying to say is keep a balance, but it's really, it's, it's really cool because um, once you get into that character, or that imaginary space of you guys finally being together, it, it kind of it, it kind of like hints you on how your partner uh, would be towards some certain things. You know what they like. It actually um, enables you know each other better. You know, like I think we haven't been together, we haven't had any fun time together in person, but I know how how fun life is. Uh, to 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 a great extent, you know, and I know the things she 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 would like and she would want, you know, when we're finally together. So those are the kind of imaginary things um, we're saying you guys should try and explore, you know, um, especially if you've never met before in your LDR 
that you know just just like we haven't met before a lot to say under this point but we're trying to keep to the time and not beat over it so i'm just going to go to the eighth and final point you know ldr is not a child's game it is not easy you know there are the down times and of course the good times on it but if you want to make it work um we are saying we advise you to focus more on the positive side of it and what are this positive side is that um being in um, um a elderly our relationship you have your your personal space you know even being in a relationship to do your critical thinking to self evaluate you know and understand yourself better it provides you with space you know to 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 get involved with other things you know like your career path and your educational uh, aspect as well you know you stay focused without any side um dis- distraction it also helps you in developing your patience you know the level of patience you you find out you you tend to get in 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 our i mean ldr <laughs> it is what it is it is so, it is what it is it is what it is <laughs> it no easy you know but but yeah it helps you develop your level of um, patience and one other important thing is um this is not ion clouded but um you're less likely to confuse lost with love mm-hmm. in the area you know if you're in it then you're in it for a long time you're in it for the um for for the right reasons you mm-hmm. know because lost can easily be be confused with um physical yeah. attractions now and you know how people treat you but in a LDR relationship i believe the distance actually helps you to realize that uh you love this person to 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 a great extent that is why you're ready to to sacrifice you know and and go through this compromising uh aspect of you basically yeah, right. yeah so i think that is the eighth and final point and um i hope you guys enjoy it these tips that we've just mentioned you all are tips that we practice to make our long distance relationship work it helps us to get to know each other better on different levels it allows us to communicate and be able to solve conflict and also to appreciate our time spent together and remember these tips are, are, are what works for us um but you can look into it and also try to figure out what works for you in your relationship better and make sure to stay tuned with us for more interesting videos to come if this video was helpful to you all make sure to like comment share subscribe and turn on your post notifications and we love you guys and hope to see you next time bye bye <laughs> bye <laughs> Bye. for real it's it's not easy recording and not be together like you don't know when you want to say what and when you want to say this but it's all good we'll keep you down we'll keep you 100 for you our faithful subscribers and if you're new to this channel make sure to please subscribe and turn on post notification we love you guys bye